it has officially begun. Lenora Journey to Comp 2. Or for this series, I'm gonna call it Journey to Top 5. Wow, that sounded a lot scarier <laughs> saying it out loud. First August, I finally got to my got to talk to my coach who is done with his comp for WBFF. He's happy that I seem to be maintaining myself and I'm happy too. Just that there are times where I feel a bit bloated. Like right now, I actually feel bloated and I was really hoping to go in this week with a bang, but unfortunately, I came out with a stuffed nose. But <laughs> life is never perfect. Just went through phase seven of my workout program and we are also touching differently on my nutrition where now I've got to be very specific even down to the supplements because the thing is sometimes for my first comp uh, eating the foods that I did was to just get a feel for how my body felt um, reacting to certain foods now we're getting pretty specific so in the next five days I have to jot down everything food journaling is really important for anybody um, especially for those who are competing and even though my nose is stuffed up like crazy and it's really annoying but I'm gonna give a try to the new workout and I saw it it looks killer thanks to my darn flu Oh boy, I really look like a mess. I made this concoction, which my coach told me to drink. Lysin, veggie powder, greens powder, and vitamin C. Bottoms up, it looks terrible. But it doesn't taste bad, it's actually quite yummy. I'll beat you, flu! This is baking in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and carve up my turkey. 12 weeks to go, turkey leg's still all right. I'm saving the turkey breast. When I found it, I was like, yeah, I'm saving you too. Much crucial times. I'm gonna eat and carve up the turkey at the same time. Here we have my stash of meal prep. Salmon, turkey, Chicken. Done with radio show. I'm now at the place that I like so much because it's so pretty and pink. There is the boss. There is second boss. I feel a lot better after taking that crazy ass smoothie with vitamin C, lysine, and veggies. I'm gonna try the workout again. Hopefully, this time it will be a lot better. Got pumped with this. Two scoops. That's about two grams of carbs. Bottoms up. So excited. I'm helping out with the lead and main class here at Qua. And I can't wait to put the girls through this session. Oh, I hate standing here. This is the first time I'm ever wearing a bedazzled bikini. Trying it for the first time. Tiny. Busy day. Radio is done. I had my food. I had to eat in the car. That's how rushed I am and pressed for time. And now I only have like probably 45 minutes to work out. And then I had to hit over, hit over to a meeting for a very, very cool thing that's happening. Program is now a lot of combos upper body lower body ah whatever the point is that it's gonna hurt i need two people to count for me on my tempo the pause at the bottom is insane i told ben it's insane and he's like you're going to look amazing don't worry okay
excessively busy day. I feel like this week is... <sighs> On Sunday, I am going to be hosting a run. I haven't even had time to eat yet. It's a good thing I ate in the car. True story. Oh, and so cool. I was emailed some questions from an Australian print. Uh, I think it's a newspaper. They were asking me about the GM diet, which I have done before. I won't recommend it again for people to do continuously. But in any case, I gotta answer those questions. I gotta find time to go to the toilet because I haven't even had time to go to the toilet yet. To eat and yes. Okay, back to work. Whew. Radio done. I just recorded like 10 hours. And now on to a meeting for another thing that I'm working on. Then it's straight to another meeting. Today I am not going to work out. That was so fruitful and I'm so excited. But I can't reveal anything. Just know that lots of things are happening and I can't wait to share them with you. Anywho, now on to another meeting with Alex. Meet Alex, who's with the Yolo Run, which is what I'm hosting this Sunday. Okay. Very fruitful talk with Alex. So for anybody who has not tried the Yolo Run next time, go ahead, quick, free plug right now. Go this ahead. 10th of September in Bangkok, 1st October in uh, Hong Kong, and 11th November in Singapore. Nice. In the meantime, the run is happening this Sunday, and you all see that. Home after a very long but productive day. I'm so glad today was rest day because it was a lot. I'm still hungry even though I've already hit most of my macros. So having a little bit of um, buckwheat puffs. I came home and this is the nonsense I saw. Look at all this. Not, not this or this but all these cookies. And going over to this side where my sister bakes. She has all this. <laughs> Today I had a bit of a constipation issue. Definitely the not enough veggies. And now I'm gonna make my little vitamin C veggie drink to just make sure I'm not sick. All right, good night. Saturday, one of my favorite days because it's my only day to rest. <laughs> and my only day to do whatever the hell I want and take my time and work it out. last time. Now it's popping out so much faster. Three months, I'll be ready for you. So the workout was not complete, complete, but I'm just getting the feel of it. Reasons because I had to rush and meet this one here for lunch. And here's the thing, she loves to copy what I wear. Look at this, okay, she's wearing the same freaking bra is It wasn't me. even intentional. Okay, I'm an inspiration and people like to be I, I would just time. say that geniuses think alike. I like to be equal. I could have no, said something else. she's just trying to be me. No, I'm not. <laughs> I haven't been. Babe, I have not been around Kuching enough. Maybe next time I should extend your Kuching holiday. Well, I went there purely for work. Here. It's okay. I am saying that this girl has to finish her meat. I'm done. She's nearly done, but you see like there's bits and pieces of meat here, and meat here, and her reply is, oh, that's too much meat. It's too much meat. There is not much left, you can finish it. Do you know Suck how on the bone. big, do you know Suck how on big the this bone. is? No. <laughs> and she is talking about too much meat. I have 400 over grams of turkey with mine. Girl. Because it's good. 
I came home and my gosh, my sister is baking up a storm. I'm so proud of her. Can you please look at this beautiful cake? Oh my gosh. Why am I in comp, comp mode? It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it matches my, my nail polish. Baker, say hi. <laughs> All right, time for me to get ready, bathe, and hit for a movie. I've never seen a movie with Atmos. What was it called again? D box. Atmos D box. Okay, whatever it's called. This D box seat thing. I've never done it, and you shaky shaky in it. So in case you can't eat your popcorn, right? <laughs> it's like oh, too shaky. Green is maximum. Do I do I want green or do I want red? Oh, I see. It shakes. The, oh, okay. Oh, that's fun. When you are still prepping for comp, you gotta come prepared. So I came with my own snacks. Bucky puff of 40 grams. And I'll calculate how many rice cakes. And she came prepared too. What do you have? Granola? Yes, granola. granola. A whole lot of granola. And just water. Done. Still hungry. <laughs> Removing croutons. Oh my god. I, I didn't think it would hit me that bad. I have a friend who's currently in Europe and she's having all these amazing foods. I'm so angry. Vindy? Yeah. No, that one. The other one is a Where? Where? This one. Yeah, this one that you were pointing. Oh my god. Look at the size of that cookie. Drama! Drama! Stop it, Lindy. Seriously, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Here at Yolo Run KL 2017, and all us Malaysians say good morning! <laughs> What a beautiful crowd. This is what I live for. Oh. We're done with Yolo Run! Woo! Hi, this is Sarah, this is Tasha. They just did an interview with me and you end that video, the interview will be out where? Um, it'll be out on our website. Okay. Yeah. Antifysolutions.com, that's yeah. where I'll see the interview. Thank you yeah. girls so Antifi much. Antifys is spelled A-N-T-U-F-Y. And I'm so hungry right now. I'm glad I managed to eat like a bit of my eggs and turkey. I'm gonna continue that. I'm so glad that I had almonds in my car. After everything, right? Look at this, this is torturous. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, look at that. And he just dangled this in my face. This is it, video number one for Journey to Top 5. Honestly, it's still quite scary to say it. This season, a couple of things that I wanna work on which is not being complacent. I found the balance before, I know I can do it again, but I think the main thing is complacency because a lot of things are happening, opportunities are jumping out at me, and this is where I may think like I got other priorities. And that's why I became more specific with the goal. Before it was just to get onto the stage. Now it's to get top five on that stage. I believe I can do it. And I know I can do it. I don't have a lot of time. It's 11 weeks left. <laughs> Man. I'm just gonna have a lot of fun in the process. I welcome this new journey because there are gonna be new challenges and that means there are gonna be new things that I can learn. I want to thank you again for joining me on this because as I learn things, I hope you learn it too. Especially when you are resilient and you are consistent and you are focused on a specific goal, you are able to attain it. In the words of my favorite WBFF pro athlete, Happy Boydell, strive for progress, not perfection. And in my own words, I want to leave this with you. 
change your mindset, change your outcome. Thank you for joining me. And do subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here. Find me on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, whichever that you prefer. And I'll speak to you next Monday on the vlog. Do give the video a thumbs up. And as always, may the gains be forever in your favor. But somewhere